The overall quality of freshwater streams depends on many factors, some avoidable and some not. Student researchers Stephanie Grice and Clay Prater have found that population growth, economic development, and seasonality are among the factors that degrade water quality of many streams and inhibit their ecosystems to remain healthy. They both focus on the macroinvertebrates that inhabit the streams. The focal point of my research is to take samples in uh, streams across northwest Arkansas, the Ozark Highland region. We are testing how streams are affected by urbanization, and we look at the various sites, such as forested, agricultural, and urban sites, and see how water quality is affected by us and our growing population. She gathers water samples from urban, forested, and agricultural streams before and after floods to later test them and determine the water quality. Macroinvertebrates tell a lot about water quality because in the streams you have um, periphyton, which is algae, and macroinvertebrates f feed off of those. And it's kind of what heads the uh, life cycle in the stream. So if without macroinvertebrates in there, then you're, it's showing that there's not a lot of algae, and algae is showing that the production of the stream is vibrant and there's a lot of life in it within the stream. And the more life within the stream, the better the water quality is. Water quality is also what Clay focuses on, but he centers more around two nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, along with the impact of leaves in a stream. If those are limiting in the system or if there's not enough of those relative to carbon, then um, it will affect the organism's growth rates. To determine the impact of these three elements, he uses one macroinvertebrate, the shredder, to determine how the creatures adapt and evolve in correspondence to the presence of the components. I study shredding macroinvertebrates in Ozark headwater streams like this one, mainly looking at how the effects of nutrients on detrital food resources, so leaves in the stream, and how those affect the organism, the macroinvertebrates that eat those. To collect samples, he sections off one part of the stream, stirs its sediments, and puts some of the debris in a brown bag that he will later examine for nutrient presence. Macroinvertebrates are really important for um, nutrient cycles in streams, so they're one of the major primary producers, so they'll eat the algae or the leaves in the streams, and then they, in turn, serve, uh, serve as food sources for uh, bigger organisms. Stephanie and Clay will continue to process data they have collected over the past year and help contribute answers to fellow researchers about how to minimize disturbances in streams and in their ecosystems.